So for my first treasure, I would say that I chose the spell damage passive because my friend said that it was a pretty good one and I decided to give it a try. In terms of choosing my loot, I decided to go with combo caster because I felt like I wasn't too fond of the other choices. The Archbishop 7 drop, I don't like the idea of taking their deck because there is no guarantee that their cards actually even go well with yours. And I also felt like Flash Heal was probably a little worthless as a card. I'd say I didn't take Domination because of the same reason of not liking Archbishop Benedictus, so I just ended up taking Combo Caster. And win. This is Wool The light shall bring victory. Time for pain! So I think my issue with the shadow choices was the 8 drop. I didn't really like drafting minions that were too high up in mana cost, so I felt like it was really important to draft lower cost cards mainly five and below. So having the eight drop felt like it would be worthless for quite a while because you really need stuff to get momentum in the beginning and eight is just a really late card. I also didn't like the last rights option because I felt like the death rattle effect didn't really synergize well with priest, at least that's what I thought personally. And since none of my starting cards in the deck had death rattle, it didn't feel like it would be worth taking. Anduin versus Blaze the Cleric! The light shall bring victory. Halt! I claim these treasures for the light! Okay, so for this next treasure, I decided to go with Gloves of Mugging because one mana cost for three cards felt like a really, really good deal. The 10 mana Wish card, just filling your board with legendary minions, that's way too late of a card to play. The four drop Dr. Boom's Boombox is a pretty decent card, I would say, but I think the one mana cost is really nice for early game. In terms of choosing this loot, once again, I felt like the 8 mana cards in Combo Caster was much too expensive, so I definitely skipped that one. For Discipline, those were pretty decent cards, but I didn't want to grab Idea and Fiola again, even though they're not terrible. So I decided to go with Holy because I wanted some AoE removal with Light Bomb and Holy Nova. The light shall bring victory! <laughs> Oh, my God. 
So for this next one, I decided to choose last rights because for discipline, I felt like taking two inner fires and idea again wasn't going to be as beneficial as I would have liked. And then I also felt like the holy options were a little bit high cost in mana and I wanted to get more cards where I could use earlier on. So for the treasure, Crystal Gem was the best choice in my opinion because I don't have many or any battle cries in my deck and also I feel like upgrading your hero power is only useful in a defensive way. So for this next one, I didn't want to take last rates for the same reason as earlier, didn't want to take death rattle minions. For shadow, it was a decent option but I ultimately went with Domination because I know later on there are going to be bigger minions that I have to deal with and I need some removal for that.
For this one I decided to take Shadow because I wanted more minions. I felt like I had a lot of spells in this deck so I didn't want to flood it with more spells and both of the other options included a lot of spells. Yes. 
shadows, but they see you. Get them, boys. Ceiling triple. Ceiling triple. box of bombs ever to be boxing. For this last pick, I felt that the last rites minions were much better than the holy ones, and as usual did not want more spells from discipline, so that is why I chose it. Anduin versus Azari the Devourer. The light shall bring victory. is your end. I think oh. so. I will devour 
this world. Who dares summon me? Walking away with cobalt treasures! <laughs> 